Carnivora, the hunters and the cleaners. If mammals had a military, Carnivora would be its special forces. This diverse order includes lions, tigers, wolves, bears, seals, and even raccoons. A family united by teeth designed for one thing, tearing meat. But carnivore doesn't always mean killer. Some, like pandas, eat mostly bamboo. Others, like sea lions, eat fish. And a few, such as raccoons, will eat literally anything that fits in their mouths. Carnivorans split into two main branches, caniforms, dog-like like hunters such as wolves, bears, and seals, and feliforms, cat-like predators like lions, hyenas, and mongooses. Their evolution was driven by competition, speed, stealth, and strength became survival tools, and nature rewarded creativity. Wolves learned teamwork, cats mastered stealth, bears became tanks, and sea otters became the world's fluffiest tool users. Their senses are razor sharp, smell, vision, and hearing all honed for hunting or scavenging. Carnivora did didn't just dominate ecosystems, they define them. From arctic polar bears to tropical leopards, they've conquered every climate on earth. They're nature's problem solvers, and sometimes the problem is you. Primates, the thinkers, and the tree dwellers. The primates are evolution's clever experiment. Animals that traded claws for hands and fangs for brains. This family includes lemurs, monkeys, apes, and humans, the most intelligent, adaptable mammals on Earth. Primates began as small nocturnal tree dwellers around 60 million years ago after the dinosaurs vanished. Big eyes helped them see in the dark. Grasping hands helped them climb. Over time, they got smarter. Their eyes moved forward and their brains ballooned. Modern primates Primates fall into two main groups, prosimians, like lemurs and tarsiers, and anthropoids, monkeys, and apes. Humans belong to the latter, the great apes, alongside chimpanzees, gorillas, and orangutans. Primates are social. They communicate, groom, strategize, and sometimes wage wars. But they also show empathy, creativity, and complex emotions. Their greatest weapon isn't claws or speed, it's cognition. Opposable thumbs and large brains gave them the ability to use tools, solve problems, and eventually build civilizations. In short, primates didn't conquer nature by fighting it. They conquered it by thinking. All right, I will be posting more videos here. So slam that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. This helps us to rank better in the YouTube algorithm. Eulipatifla, the tiny titans of the soil. Beneath your feet, an ancient order is hard at work. Eulipatifla, the small but mighty insect eaters. This group includes hedgehogs, shrews, and moles, creatures that may be small but are vital to every ecosystem they inhabit. They're descendants of some of the earliest mammals, unchanged for over 60 million years. Their secret, simplicity. They eat bugs, dig holes, and breed like clockwork. The eternal Eternal underdogs of evolution. Moles are expert diggers with paddle shaped hands and almost no eyes, navigating the dark through vibration and smell. Shrews, on the other hand, are lightning fast hunters with metabolism so high they must eat their body weight in food every day. Hedgehogs, their spiky cousins, evolved armor instead of speed, rolling into a ball when threatened. While they may not roar or soar, they play a hidden but crucial role aerating soil, controlling insects, and keeping nature's machinery running smoothly. Eulipatifla are proof that not every hero needs fangs or fur. Some just need a good nose and a worm buffet. Chiroptera, the lords of the night sky. The bats, or Chiroptera, are evolution's aerial miracle, the only mammals capable of true flight. Their name means hand wing, and that's exactly what they are. Wings made from elongated fingers stretched with skin. There are over 1,400 species of bats, making them the second most diverse mammalian order after rodents. Bats split into two groups, megabats, fruit bats, and flying foxes, and microbats, insect eating echolocators. Using high-pitched sounds to navigate and hunt, they map the night like living sonar. While many feed on fruit or insects, a few, like vampire bats, drink blood using heat sensors and razor-sharp teeth to make painless bites. Bats are ecological superheroes. They pollinate flowers, disperse seeds, and devour pests by the billions. Despite myths, they're clean, social, and crucial for biodiversity. Without bats, rainforests wouldn't regrow, and mosquito plagues would explode. They are mammals that traded sunlight for sound and became the ultimate masters of darkness.
Diprotodontia, the marsupial marvels. Hop, glide, or climb. Diprotodontia is the marsupial family that redefines weird and wonderful. This order includes kangaroos, koalas, wombats, and sugar gliders, all native to Australia and nearby islands. Their name means two front teeth, a reference to their prominent lower incisors. But the real magic lies in their biology. They give birth to tiny, underdeveloped babies that crawl into pouches to finish growing. Kangaroos are built for efficiency, using spring-loaded legs to travel miles without tiring. Koalas, meanwhile, live in slow-motion luxury, eating eucalyptus leaves and sleeping for 20 hours a day. Wombats dig elaborate burrows and can crush predators against tunnel walls with their reinforced butts. Yes, really. And sugar gliders? They're miniature paragliders with membranes that stretch between limbs, allowing them to glide from tree to tree in silence. Diprotodonts are survivors of isolation, proof that evolution on an island doesn't follow rules, it writes them. Tachyglossidae, the spiny egg layers. Among all mammals, few are as strange or ancient as the Tachyglossidae, better known as echidnas. These spiny, insect-eating creatures are one of only two mammalian families that lay eggs, sharing that honor with the platypus. Covered in quills like hedgehogs and armed with long, sticky tongues for snatching ants, echidnas are living fossils, direct descendants of the earliest mammals, surviving for over 100 million years. They inhabit Australia and New Guinea, using strong claws to dig for food and burrow into the earth when threatened. After laying an egg, the mother keeps it in a pouch until it hatches, then feeds her baby, called a puggle, with milk secreted from pores. No nipples required. Despite their slow, awkward gait, echidnas are tough. They can withstand extreme temperatures, low oxygen, and predators, curling into spiny fortresses when attacked. They are proof that evolution isn't linear. It's creative chaos. The tachyglossidae didn't change for millions of years. Why would they? They were already perfect. Lagomorpha, the hoppers and hiders. Meet Lagomorpha, the order of rabbits, hares, and pikas. The cute faces hiding a world-class survival strategy. Though small and fluffy, these animals are built for endurance. Rabbits and hares have powerful hind legs for sprinting and leaping, while pikas, their mountain-dwelling cousins, live among rocks, storing grass for winter like tiny hoarders. Lagomorphs are herbivores with a strange digestive trick. They eat their food twice. Their first digestion produces soft soft droppings rich in nutrients, which they re-eat to extract every last bit of energy, an evolutionary life hack for low-nutrient diets. They also have constantly growing teeth, kept in check by endless gnawing. Hares are solitary speedsters, rabbits are social burrowers, pikas are industrious and vocal, whistling warnings across mountain slopes. They may look harmless, but they're among the toughest survivors in nature, thriving in deserts, tundras, and forests alike. Soft outside, steel inside, that's Lagomorpha. Artiodactyla, the even-toed titans. Hooves, horns, herds. Welcome to Artiodactyla, the even-toed mammals that dominate grasslands and savannas. This order includes deer, pigs, camels, antelopes, giraffes, and cattle, and even whales, oddly enough, which evolved from ancient artiodactyl ancestors. Their shared trait, they walk on two main toes per foot, balancing grace and strength. Many are herbivores, grinding plant matter with complex stomachs and endless chewing. Cows have four stomachs for fermentation. Camels store fat, not water, in their humps. And giraffes, with their skyscraper necks, are living engineering marvels, pumping blood six feet upward without fainting. Artiodactyls shaped human civilization. We domesticated them, hunted them, worshipped them. They became food, transport, and culture itself. From buffalo migrations to wildebeest herds, they're the heartbeat of ecosystems worldwide. Elegant, adaptable, and powerful. Artiodactyla proves that dominance doesn't always roar. Sometimes, it just grazes. Rodentia, the tiny overlord. They're everywhere. They outnumber us. They own the night. Rodentia, the largest order of mammals, includes rats, mice, squirrels, beavers, and porcupines, nearly 40% of all mammalian species. Their secret weapon, teeth, ever-growing incisors, allow them to gnaw through anything. Wood, seeds, wires, even concrete. Rodents are nature's ultimate adapters. They live in deserts, jungles, sewers, and skyscrapers. Beavers 
rivers reshape rivers with dams. Squirrels plant forests by forgetting acorns. Rats hitchhike across continents, thriving on human chaos. Their reproductive power is terrifying. One pair of rats can produce 15,000 offspring in a year under ideal conditions. Rodents aren't just survivors. They're architects of ecosystems, engineers of chaos, and unsung heroes of evolution. If dinosaurs ruled by force, rodents rule by numbers, and they're not going anywhere. Deshiromorphia, the marsupial predators. Australia doesn't need lions or wolves. It has Deshiromorphia, the carnivorous marsupials. This order includes Tasmanian devils, quolls, and the extinct thylacine, Tasmanian tiger, hunters built from pure instinct and ferocity. Tasmanian devils, with jaws strong enough to crush bone, are scavengers that clean the land like nature's garbage disposals. Quolls are agile, spotted killers of the bush, and the thylacine, with its striped back and wolf-like bill, was Australia's lost apex predator, wiped out by human hunting in the 20th century. Unlike placental mammals, these predators give birth to tiny, jellybean-sized babies that grow inside pouches. Their isolation turned them into evolutionary experiments, mammals reinventing carnivory without ever meeting a true carnivore. Even now, Dasuromorphs remain icons of resilience, snarling proof that you don't need big teeth or a global empire to be terrifying. In the outback, Everything hunts, but these marsupials perfected it. If you've watched to this point, slam that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. This helps us to rank better in the YouTube algorithm.